made a terrible mistake asking federal government to negotiate with IPO over agitation. Joe Igokwe claims. Recent news reports from various credible media sources stated that Sheikh Ahmad Gumi, a popular Islamic cleric, had called on the federal government to quickly initiate dialogue and negotiation between IPOC and other secessionistic groups in the country. Gumi, while speaking to Arise TV, affirmed that if he were in charge of government, he would quickly invite IPOC and other agitators to the table to discuss with them so that the issue behind the agitators can be ironed out. Gumi affirmed that if urgent measures and actions are not taken to curtail the spread of the agitation in the country, things may get out of control. He urged President Buhari to invite the agitators so that they would not be radicalized religiously to become Boko people, which would be bad for the country. Now, the issue raised by Gumi, which is apparently based on good intentions for the country, is quite commendable. However, if Gumi had made these statements some four years ago, it would have been more possible for the government to take action with regards to what he said. It is important to note that IPOC were prescribed a book organization by Federal High Court around 2017. This means that in Nigeria, the government views them as Boko people who may be seeking to control a certain region by carrying out undemocratic actions. If IPOP had been peaceful and law-abiding, they may not have been prescribed. Their recent activities in the southeast that has turned the region into a mini-war zone is one that deserves a lot of probation. Therefore, Sheikh Kumi may have made a mistake by calling on the federal government to negotiate with people who are constitutionally described as Boko people. For instance, would it be right for the federal government to say it wants to start negotiation with Boko people insurgents that have been wrecking havoc in the Northeast since 2019? I do not think so. If the government heeds to Kumi's advice, and begin to negotiate with agitators in the country, it will not solve this issue. Instead, it will create more problems for the country. I will cite the issue of militancy in the Niger Delta as an example. During the administration of the late Omar Musa Yadwa, the federal government granted amnesty to militants from the Greeks of the Niger Delta in order to curtail the issue of oil bunkery and terrorism in the region. Instead of curtailing the issue, it escalated them as several groups sprang up and began to cause their own trouble, hoping that the government would add them to the amnesty plan. Image composite of Namdekanu and Sheikumi was also illustrated. Um, at first, I'll tell you that he didn't make a mistake anyway, okay? He didn't make a mistake. But, um, you see, Gumi did what he did for his own favor, but a lot of you don't know about, don't, don't think about it. Gumi asking or requesting for amnesty, or Gumi asking the federal government to dialogue with the IPOC is for his own good and not for you. Do you know Kumi? When do you know him? You only know him as a cleric, but you don't know him in total. You don't know where he goes at night. You only know him as that man who stands in front of the pulpit and proclaim. The name, the, the, the name of God. My dear viewers, if I am permitted to go on with this issue, I tell you, you see reason why Gumi did what he did.
you will see reason why women did what he did and he did it for his own selfish reason for his own selfish reasons and this is what many of the youths are not doing something that they suppose to stay away from they still embark on it all because of crazy money eh? so my dear viewers let us not give in to the trick don't give in to the trick because they are all devilish so my dear viewers i plead to you so please come in and hear your opinion click on the subscription buttons as well as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos and please and please be frank be sincere because you see your contributions your opinion your ideas i tell you has been going a long way in helping us to solve many many of the situations unlike the issue of um, of the, uh, the the insecurity that we are facing in nigeria many nigerians today don't know that uh, that they, they don't, don't know the causes and why the people are still experiencing it but through your many emails opinions ideas that you put across we have been you may have been able to utilize it in our own way to see how we can be able to affect lives meaningfully in making sure that the needful and the right thing are done are done to the purpose of making sure that the people are enlightened about the insecurity in their environment you understand okay because it's very important all right based on all that i've just been said i salute your courage thank you